Well, good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of Trap Lines and Inlines. Uh, this video is long awaited. Uh, it's been taking way too long, but we're finally going to start on this roof for the off grid cabin. Uh, what we're going to be doing is building a, uh, a ridge board uh, rafter roof there kind of thing. Uh, we're gonna make, I'm gonna make a double ridge board out of two two by sixes and then uh, run my rafter. So as you can see here, I've developed uh, a master rafter, eh? So um, if you take your dimensions of your roof, the run and the rise, if you just find that, then you can find basically all the calculations you need just from an online generator. Uh, if you just give it a quick Google search, you'll find lots of good stuff, and that's what I did. Uh, so with this roof, it has a, a 48 inch rise to the top of the main beam. Uh, so the, the top will be eight foot high on top of the four foot walls that are already there. And then it has a uh, run of 62 inches, I believe. So with that being said, my rafter length came out to being 35 and a half inches. So you just whip that up quick with your, or 35 and a half degrees rather. So you whip that up quick with your speed square and uh, it lined up good. Uh, I also cut my bird's mouth. Don't ask me how it was a guess and check trial and error type process, but uh, after a few or just one buggered up rafter, then uh, I got her figured and it's sitting in there pretty good. I also cut that same 35 and a half degree onto the tail of the rafter so that uh, I can bolt uh, my end boards onto that. Now these are only two by fours. Uh, a lot of guys will use two by sixes, whatever. Uh, this is a very small cabin and uh, I'm not the royal bank. Uh, that being said, the more aggressive the pitch of your roof is, the stronger your rafters will be. If you have an extremely moderate uh, pitch, uh, your rafter is going to be weaker and you're probably going to have to consider uh, laying a ridge beam where the beam is underneath the rafters and the rafters bolt on top, eh? So uh, that being said, i got to build like uh, triangular walls on the front and back of the cabin where I'm going to develop, uh, I'm going to put my two windows on the front but my main beam, my um, ridge board support will be, will sit on top of there, eh? And uh, like I said, two windows on the front. Now, I don't have as much overhang as I would like off the sides, but uh, that's all right. And the reason for that is because these are just uh, 93 or 92 and 5 8 inch boards. I forget what they are, they're not quite eight footers. But uh, that's about the overhang I got. It's just a little over a foot, I believe. Uh, but that's sufficient. I would have liked it to be longer because this cabin looks so ridiculously tall already. But uh, it's what I got, and it's the cheapest, and uh, I'm on a budget. Uh, I'll run a 20-foot main beam over the length of the 16-foot cabin, and that'll give me two foot off either side for my overhang. And I'll show you how I build the overhang, because it's not quite as the same as just the rafters all the way uh, across. So uh, it's already 4 o'clock. I've really been pissing around today. <laughs> but um, we'll see what we can't get done here. Okay, so here's what I'm doing, and it looks a little ridiculous right now. Uh, so what I've done here is I've actually lined things up, tacked things up exactly how they're going to lay. Eh? So uh, when we look here, don't mind my bird's mouth on this one. It's god awful. My saw really buggered it up. But uh, so that here, I doubled up uh, a two by two, two by fours and ran them to another board, and uh, and then I put two three inch slices of uh, two by uh, six there just to, just to mock everything up like uh, how it's gonna lay. And then I just tacked down my rafter so that's exactly how everything's gonna lay there. So what I'm doing here is I'm making my plywood measurement. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace that line along that two by four and have the perfect angle um, to cut my plywood and then I'm going to and then I'm going to take that piece, the piece I cut off here, and that'll be the master, and I'll use it on um, the other four slices that I'm going to make. These slices are exactly half the distance of the total span of the wall. Originally, I lined my wall right up to here, 
but then I realized my rafter was interfering so I actually had to shave about an inch off there eh? so um, nothing too special about how this is all looking here but uh, like I said that main or uh, that ridge board is gonna sit right on top of this doubled up 2x4 and run all the way to the back where there'll be another one of exactly the same so I'll cut that out and then um, I'll do all my framing while it's up here on the wall because it's so high and I don't want to be pissing around lifting that up there because I'll end up dropping over. I'll just kind of, I'll just, I'll build this on both sides with two rafters here. One going up to the other side there and then uh, build my frame eh? uh, from there. Uh, I won't worry about cutting out the windows now. The windows are going to go right here. Eh? My, so that's how things are looking here. Uh, like I said, I'll trace that develop a masterpiece of plywood and then uh, cut four slices out of it and call her deadly so stay tuned guys okay things are going good here up at bush camp we're just a giving her but uh, you see what I mean here uh, I'm just working on the second one now for the back and uh, I put my piece on it goes right up halfway and then uh, I just connected the rafter to the plywood already eh? and I'm not wanting to cheap out with the fasteners I really pepper it in there and uh, I switched to nails too because they're considerably cheaper than screws eh? but uh, yeah so now uh, it's bolted in along the bottom and the rafters are bolted in and I just got to put my main beam across now when I put that main beam across uh, I'll have a or not main beam the ridge board rather I'll have a nice slot to lay it into and won't have to be worried about balancing it and now like the biggest thing about this is uh, ease of build for me right because uh, now I don't have to climb up here with big old pieces of plywood I can just uh, like that parts already done eh? so that's why I'm doing it now because I'm working out here by myself eh? but uh, that's how things are looking here now uh, I'll put up this other one over here and then uh, we're gonna have to put on the, the ridge beam. Uh, you can see my plywood, it isn't quite mint there, that slot I cut out. I'm gonna have to shave it a little bit, uh, the, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it and it won't be a hard bridge to cross at all. We'll just break out the old handsaw. Uh, I'll put the ridge beam across, it overhangs two feet out the front and the back. Okay, all said and done, now it's time to put it up. And I like to put just a couple boards, no particular order on the edge. Uh, that way you line her up real nice and flush, eh? And then uh, you also don't have to worry about pushing her over the edge and falling with it anyway. Uh, now I gotta bounce off this shitty old platform I built a while back. That's gonna be a death trap anyway, but we'll see how she goes. Uh, I'll let you know if I get her up there without breaking my neck. Okay, got that uh, second one up without any severe injury, but Jesus H, was I really balancing there? And then all of a sudden, a big old wind picked up. I thought I was done for. But uh, anyway, got her up, looks good. I did a much better job on this side on the plywood gap there. But, uh, and then don't pay any attention to this here board up the center. It's just another alignment board. Make sure everything's going up straight. Uh, yeah, it's starting to look like a house anyway. <laughs> pretty redneck one at that but uh yeah so what we're gonna do now is uh put up this here uh uh ridge beam a ridge board rather not uh two different things there's a ridge board uh and i'm gonna make it out of two two by sixes actually four uh don't get mad at me i don't have a 20 footer but what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna take a 12 and an 8 foot slice join them together and do that on both sides and make sure my uh, intersections are uh, are in different locations. We'll glue and uh, bolt the piss out of her like I've done to these ones. Eh? These are all glued together too. It adds a lot of strength, I think. I uh, use it on the important shit. But anyway, we'll put that big prick across. It's going to be hard to get up there, but uh, we always figure it out up here at bush camp anyway. Okay, looking mint. Got that beam lifted up. Not too pretty bad. A little hard on the arms being that it's eight foot up there. <laughs> lifted it without the ladder, huh? But uh, what I had done is I took an eight and a 12, two foot by six, so 20 feet total. And uh, I joined them together. And uh, I bolted the piss out of them from either side there and glued them all together and clamped them together. And then uh, 
lifted her up there, eh? So it's sturdy as all can be. Uh, and then I marked it here, eh? So I marked it on this side, lined up that side so that I have the exact same two foot overhang on both sides. Uh, I was just thinking here though, I'm gonna need to do, fuck, I forget what those uh, boards are called. For the overhang, they put the horizontal ones, eh? Uh, from this rafter to that rafter. Fuck, I can't remember what them are called. Anyway, so I just realized I'm gonna need this board open in order to bolt them together uh, to the outside rafter there for the overhang so I can drill in those horizontal pieces so I shouldn't put in this rafter yet, eh? I should wait a little bit longer on it and before I do my uh, wall frame in here, that'll might come to be right at the end, eh? I just meant. I check that shit out, buddy. Real deadly. Okay, so uh, I made sure all my walls are getting straight there, and then I tacked, like I bolted the rafters in and tacked the two by six to the uh, double two by four support there. Okay, so here's the view from down on the bottom. It is tall as fuck, no doubt. But uh, you look here, you can see how mint straight that is, and you can kind of eclipse it when you look under it from the bottom, eh? Just meant. It looks especially ridiculous because we're so downhill here. <laughs> uh, it's real steep there, eh? But <laughs> uh, <laughs> curb appeal is the last of my worries. It's more about functionality for legally allowed space, eh? But you see my two foot overhang consistent front and back. And uh, yeah, that's what she looks like. Pretty deadly. Okay, so we'll be back here. It sounds like tomorrow I got a damn dentist appointment in the middle of the day. What a waste of a day. So I'll have to get you up afterwards, but I won't have a whole bunch of time there anyway. It's probably take me, takes nearly two hours from where I'm standing to get to the closest dentistry there. So I uh, will uh, catch you then anyway. Well, good evening, fellas. Back up at bush camp here. Working on things here, uh, getting up here pretty good time. Anyway, got up early this morning, eh? This will actually be the first full day I have to work on this. This will, everything else has just been afternoons, eh? I haven't really spent as much time on it as as you might think. But brought my kayak up there too. Might do some fishing here for lunch, or might just fish off the shore, honestly. And picked up a couple extra insurance boards to make sure I don't run out when I'm doing these rafters. But uh, that main uh, or that ridge board is still standing up there good. So uh, uh, what we're going to start doing here is I have a master. It looks similar to this, but this isn't it. I think it's up top actually. Oh, no, it's over here. Uh, yep, master. So what I'm doing, I got my master here and I trace it out on uh, these boards and I'm using them right at the length they are, which is just under uh, eight feet there. You just trace them right on there, cut it out and throw them up there. We'll run uh, our board 16 inches off center, uh, uh, rotating sides there as we go. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Should be a fun day. The worst of this roof is out of the road already. Okay, so uh, I've marked out 20 here to begin with. That should nearly do it all, eh? Uh, probably need about 25 or so, but I'm not entirely sure how many I exactly need. So I'll start with 20 and then uh, cut what I need from there. I'll know how many by then. So uh, you can see all my, sorry, the shadow there. You can see all my bird's mouth cuts and everything and my angles lined up there. I cut everything with a little circular saw there. Um, you do have to, it's a little slow going cutting the angles, uh, especially this bird's mouth. You gotta be careful, take your time with, and uh, you should kind of keep that hacksaw on hand because it seems like you gotta touch it up a little bit right at the right at the peak there, right in the corner there, uh, uh, once you're done cutting it. So uh, just take your time, give her, we'll get these rafters cut up, put them up there and start laying them out. Okay, so I got all my rafters piled up, ready to go, and we'll just start laying them 16 on center. So to measure, to mark 16 on center, you measure, if you measure from the outside of the board and develop a mark at 16 inches, then you put the board on this side of that mark. So the edge of that board lines right up with this mark. And I did the same up there. 
And I'll go back and forth, one on this side, one on that side, one on this side, one on that side. Uh, just so I don't develop any warps or anything in that uh, ridge board just makes uh, physical sense to do it that way, rotating a mesa. So stick around, I'll keep you posted. Okay, got a couple up now. Uh, I've been putting four screws in each side, three inch screws. It's pretty overkill, but you know, I'm not one to cheap out on the fasteners. Uh, but yeah, keep laying them down, man. Slow and steady work. It's nice work. It's real hot out today. Uh, it's about the first time in two weeks I haven't been sitting here getting rained on and working in the mud, eh? So it's certainly a breath of fresh air, let me tell you. Still giving her looking deadly here. And you know, I'm starting to get a feel for how much room I actually got up here. Like I'm just over six foot tall and I can walk right about to here, eh? So there's a foot and a half or so that are along the outside and that'll be used for, you know, like your my storage and all my clothes and stuff and all my books and whatever else will be put up, my guns along the side, kind of all my essential shit. And that's kind of how the layout's gonna go. Everything downstairs will be like cooking and all the essentials, you know, the wood stove and all that shit. And then uh, all my stuff, like my everyday kind of shit. We'll go up here, eh, and my bed is gonna go right there and the windows will be there, it's looking mint. Uh, not all these rafters are perfect, like you see this one, a little bit fucky on the outside there, pretty good. Uh, on the these ones I put two on each side and then up top I go one on either side and then two up the top there if you can see there. So uh, yeah, just keep giving her slow and steady man. She wins the race I tell you. Stick around. It's really starting to look like a house. Okay, so coming along good there. Just about half done. Hope you can see her pretty good there. Can't really see into the camera right now. It's so sunny out. But uh, yeah, she's damn high all right. There's no doubt about it. Uh, one guy in the comment section there, the video I just put up, he says, she put that uh, Canada flag on the roof so the airplanes don't fly into it. Holy shit, I nearly died. Oh, that was funny. Yeah, she's slow going anyway. I'm not too quick anyway, but uh, breaking for lunch now. What's for lunch, you say? Well, can of beans and old mill, buddy. Maple style, only way to go. Uh, and this goddamn old mill, man, I promote it so much they should give me a sponsorship. Okay, there you have it. All the roof rafters are done. Uh, what I'm going to start working on here now is uh, the roof overhang. You can see I've left two feet on the ridge board on either side of the front and back okay boys and girls things are looking pretty deadly up here I'm balancing on my <laughs> on my sheet of plywood there she's gonna break down any second now but I just got started on these overhangs here uh, they're two foot overhangs but you got to subtract that board and that sheet of uh, plywood so uh, cut them at 22 and 1 8 I believe, I think that's what I cut them out. Anyway, they were lined up good. But I just kind of got them tacked in there. I've only put one horizontal board on each one. And uh, man, I'm some tired today. I don't know why. Uh, didn't sleep too great last night, I suppose. But I am going home. It's about 5.30 here now. Sorry, I'll just... It's about 5.30 here now. And uh, I won't get home till 7, eh? And I could use a good meal and a sleep anyway. So uh, I'll probably... Head her home now and then uh, plan to finish this roof tomorrow. So uh, stick around boys, trap lines and inlines. lines. Closing up here, figured I would be here early this morning, but nope, she's noon. <laughs> Not good, eh? <laughs> Shit. Uh, anyway, I seen two big fucking bears, or no, I seen two bears on my way up. One was a big fucker, the other one was just a little prick. Both of them were pretty darn close there. I uh, didn't get a chance to get them on camera. They buggered off pretty quick. I seen them on the way up here. You know, uh, I got no intention of of uh, touching them or bothering them at all unless, you know, they come into camp or they fuck with the livestock, eh? Uh, otherwise, I just leave them be. I got 
no intention of harming them or anything, eh? But keep going on this roof here. A lot to do yet. Uh, still got to uh, build, finish these overhangs uh, like I got going here. And then uh, I got to frame the the inside on the edges and the front and back uh, for my windows up here and just add some support there. And then uh, from there, uh, plywood. So see what we can't get done. Oh, and I got to do the end boards too. So anyway, stick around. Let's get to it. Uh, okay, so got all my overhangs started here. I've got them all lifted up in one horizontal board across. I can't remember what the proper framing terminology is for those horizontal boards. Let me know what's driving me crazy. Anyway, so it kind of looks funny that I have my bird's mouth cut and them overhang rafters. Totally forgot to exclude that. But what I'm gonna do here now is put on, start putting on my end boards. And I wanna put my end boards on before I put too many of these um, horizontal pieces there. So I don't develop a, uh, so I keep my board, my rafters straight instead of uh, developing a bend or something, eh? So uh, I just got, these are 92 and 5 8 boards. all I got, eh? Uh, really should have longer ones, uh, but I don't have the luxury of uh, entire economical freedom. So way of the road, gotta use what you got, man. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm doing a lot of this stuff, like putting boards way out there all by myself, well, I tell you what, buddy, it's a mixture of acrobat, Dicks and a uh, fuck ton of wrists, so way of the road. Don't mind the generator, but uh, just like that, uh, it'll take me three boards to get the distance, though. Okay, fellas, got all those boards done. Uh, I'm only putting one for the time being, I think it'll be sufficient and uh, not worth the hassle of putting up a second one, like against it, eh? Um, but let me know, like if if you really think I need it, let me know. If uh, kind of get a general consensus on that, uh, what do you guys figure? It's pretty pretty damn straight. I'm not gonna lie, it's not perfect. You know, there's an odd, uh, odd, uh, odd uh, <laughs> indifference there. A little bit of variation in the rafters a tad. Uh, nothing even close to worrying about, uh, fussing about, but pretty damn straight. Uh, all my angles are good too, so uh, let me know anyway uh, if you think I need a second board, but that's what I'm going to do for there. Uh, looking pretty sweet. Anyway, now I'm going to have dinner. I'm hungry as all hell. Uh, I'm going to fire up a couple packets of 39 cents ramen manchi. It's going to really hit the spot here, so I'll get a fire going, burn some of the shit I got laying around here and have dinner here. I'll show you that too. Okay, so I have a grill for this here fire pit, but there's little bolts that go into it to set her in there, and uh, I currently don't know the whereabouts, so I'm real lazy, eh? You just put her on this here board, hopefully she don't burn through, but uh, my ramen's almost ready anyway. Minty fucking 78 cent meal here, boys. Look at that grub here. Old male sponsorship pending. Let's eat, boys. Well, absolutely dusted that. And let me tell you, if anyone ever tells you there's no such thing as too much ramen, uh, they're wrong because I'm there right now. Holy shit. Okay, the next step in my uh, roof build here is these horizontal pieces for the overhang. <clears throat> and uh, I forget what they're called. Whatever. But I'm running them every 24 inches on center. What these do is give you the support you need for the overhang. Because otherwise, if you were just to attach the rafter to the ridge board and then to the uh, end board, there's not enough holding there. It's going to sag. Um, so we'll attach these. I think 24 on center will be plenty. But uh, you can go 16 if you want. I'm not concerned at all. And uh, so it's 24 inches from the outside of this board to uh, to the outside of so, so to, I guess to the inside of this one on this side to the outside of this one exactly two feet eh but we got to do some simple arithmetic here because this board is not gonna we got to take off this board and this sheet of plywood which is an inch and a half and three eighths inches if we do the math okay one half that's four eighths and seven eighths so we need to take one and seven eighths inches off of 24 which gives us 20, 
two and one eighth for this slice here, so. Okay, well, thank fuck. Finally got all these ones done, eh? Jesus Christ, man. I'm dangling off the ridge beam, putting these damn things on. Just dangerous as fuck. And uh, tires you out, too. I'm running low on energy, all this dangling off the edge and climbing up the fucking thing like a jungle gym, eh? Anyways, uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, put in this uh, this next rafter for right here, eh? And uh, then from there, we can build our frame here for the windows and whatever else, eh? But uh, how that's gonna have to be, because this is three and a half wide, eh? And these are only an inch and a half wide. So if you just put them right beside each other, then you'd only have three inches, be a little fucked, eh? So if you give yourself half an inch here and then put your next board or line it up right here with the uh, edge wall, eh? Line the outside edge of the rafter right up with that wall, you'll be mint. Okay, so uh, got my second rafter around on all four corners there. Yep, she's looking pretty mint anyway. <laughs> One guy in the comment section there, he called her the fucking, uh, what do you call it? The penthouse suite. Well, yeah, but <laughs> she is pretty fucking high up there, but free space, gonna use it anyway. Okay, back again, welcome back. We're at bush camp. Something made a fucking mess here. Uh, I'd guess it was a bear. Drug fucking plywood out everywhere. That piece is now fucked. Fishing rod wound up over here. Don't fucking know how. Fire pit is way the fuck down there. Don't fucking know how. Water jugs tipped over. All sorts of shit. Okay, we're back up at bush camp, boys. And what we're gonna do today is lay the plywood down for the roof. Start off with that anyway. So, uh, there's two sides to OSB plywood. This is only 3 8 OSB. You really should use thicker, maybe even standard plywood, eh? But anyway, this is what I got. I'm cheap, I'm not rich, get over it. Anyway, so when you look at your sheets of plywood, there's always this smooth side, it's kind of laminated, ah, oh, it's real fucking slippery. And then the other side's quite a bit coarser, eh? It's harder to get across. So uh, anyway, you wanna put the laminated side, the smoother side upwards, uh, it sheds water better, eh? So, uh, anyway, with these being 16 inch rafters uh, and uh, a 20 foot roof, it, plywooding does work out pretty damn good. And it's nearly eight feet up, just not quite. And uh, instead of running them vertically, I run two strips horizontally because you, uh, you gain some structural integrity that way by overlapping them and whatnot. But uh, this roof is fucking steep, man. Like I've almost fell off here again just now, stapling this prick in, eh? It's not deadly. So uh, what I gotta do here, I think what I'm gonna do, and uh, it sucks that I have to do it, and uh, don't get too pissed off at me, but I think I'm gonna have to cut the sheets in half because uh, it's pretty fucking dangerous right now, uh, lifting these big son of a whores up, eh? Uh, and uh, it's a pain in the ass, it's gonna wear me right out. So I think I'll just slice them right in half. So I got two four by four slices out of one, one piece there and uh, go from there. It sucks, way of the road. Anyway, we'll keep lining them up. You wanna line, you wanna line them up right down the center of your studs. And uh, if they're not going right down, if it's not right in the center, you gotta, you've got something fucked up. Uh, on the outside, you're supposed to run these every six inches, your fasteners, your proper fasteners. These might not really be proper fasteners, don't ask. <laughs> but anyway, I usually just staple the shit out of it. Uh, you want six inches on your outside ones, and then uh, 12 inches on your secondaries, up your uh, middle studs and whatnot. Uh, six inches all the way around, and then uh, you wanna work your way from one side to the other. If you staple this side and then the far outside, you're gonna develop um, 
pressure within the board and shit. You just kind of want to work your way down one stud at a time, eh? So let's get to her. Okay, so I got my first layer down and tacked down pretty good. Uh, it's going to be a prick nailing it all down together for the final nail down, you know. I just got her tacked pretty good now. But uh, what I've done here is I put little nails on every rafter, which will give you the 1 8 inch that you need uh, you need here. You don't need it here, but you need it here, huh? So, uh, for the sake of heat expansion. But uh, I'm just determining my height and how I'm going to overlap the panels now. And uh, I cut this one to 43 and 1 8 just to mock it up, kind of. And because of the double ridge board, you can't lay plywood right to the top. You know, have to cap that off with your shingles. And uh, so I cut that one to 43 and 1 8 just a little bit too much, eh? You don't want it higher than your ridge board. So I'm gonna go 43 on that. And uh, it should look pretty deadly. So uh, I'll just determine my measurements here and uh, start laying the second section here. Okay, looking minty. Looking minty. Climb up here real swift, show you from above. But uh, yeah, I just finished up this first side here. I haven't finished tucking down the bottom half. She's just a little too steep, but this whole this whole top half's all set in mint, eh? Uh, got everything lined up there pretty good. It is hot as fuck out, man. Look at that sun right there. Look at the size of that cunt. It's like 25 degrees Celsius out here. I'm sweating like a liberal supporter at a fucking sausage convention, bud. It is, it is fucking just cooking out, boys. Could really use a cold beer right now, and I'm gonna go for one here pretty swift. Uh, anyway. Uh, she's pretty steep, you know, I've been balancing off this goddamn ridge beam Or fucking board rather and uh, had a few near deaths But uh, got her licked anyway, I got no fucking safety gear No nothing, don't give a damn, but you can see all my overlaps here. Look, they're not meant uh, You should really have two studs uh, apart your overlap, eh? And mine are only one. It's the way of the road. Uh, it'll be sufficient, but uh, you really should have two. Anyways, guys, I think I'm breaking for dinner and beers, and then mosey back up, try and get the second half done. Mint fire going here. Good old birch bark, nature's paper, man. And I'm uh, gonna fry up some KD. Anyway, I don't got any milk or margarine, so it's not gonna be quite as mint, but... Uh, uh, just chuck her on the fire here when she burns down a little. I still haven't found those little bolts for that grill. I should just wrangle Well looking minty. There's just something about fire cooked food man. You just can't beat it. You just can't Gonna dig in here real deadly. I put these little boards on the end I don't know how well you can see them. I put them on the end there so that uh, my sheet supply would don't slide right off the end, eh? Well, it looks like it's gonna rain here, fellas. And uh, I'm about done for the day anyway. Uh, looks like tomorrow will be the day to wrap it all up, eh? Uh, just getting uh, another row done here. <laughs> Fuck this thing is tall anyway, but uh, yeah, I got another roller there done. So that means all there's left to do on the framing and sheeting on the sheathing on the roof is uh, just got to uh, finish the framing on the front and the back triangular sections and uh, one more row of plywood. So stay tuned, we'll continue here tomorrow. Okay, welcome back. Another day in the bush. It rained like hell this morning. I waited her out eh, and came up later on. It's about noon now. Looks like we got some half decent clear skies. So hopefully it'll stay that way because it's slippery enough already working up there on that roof. Uh, I got to finish that second layer of plywood and uh, the framing on the front and back sections. So uh, stick around. Let's get to it, boys. 
Well, check this out here, boys. Finished the sheathing on the roof. Finally fucking done. Oh, uh, lots of slipping and sliding around with the, all this mud today, but shaping up to be a not bad day here. Not too hot, drying out nice though. But uh, yeah, finally done. And uh, does kind of suck. I had to slice some of those pieces in, in half, those four eighths, eh? Those four by eights, eh? But like, look at that fucking ladder. She's 90 degrees, real high. <laughs> It's, uh, I wouldn't have been able to get the sheets that big up there myself. Uh, it's just so goddamn steep and high up there, eh? Uh, so all I got left now is I got a nail. Uh, there's a little bit along the bottom section on both sides. The top section on both sides is completely nailed in, but I got to zip around with a ladder real quick, deadly, and uh, finish nailing down the bottom. I just couldn't quite reach it there from uh, up above. Uh, it was just a little too steep, eh? And then uh, from there we got a frame for the front and back sections and we are done the roof in this video and celebrate lots of beers. Having my dinner here right now, can of beans, lots of beers. Okay, pardon the poor lighting, I've got her fully enclosed now and I finished nailing everything down on the outside there. But uh, what we're doing now, just a little triangular framing. Uh, as you can see here, I've got this back side done, it's simple. So what I need to, you need to do is you need to cut the appropriate angle into that board so it fits in there, Minty. Eh? So in this case, it was 35 and a half, same as my rafter angle. And uh, to find where it needs to lay in the measurement, bear with me a sec here. I, uh, I take my tape measure and I find 16 off, okay? And then I try and keep this as straight as I can be, and I find where 16 hits this piece, okay? You see how I've marked that? 16, there's 16 inches from here to this board, okay? So now that I've done that, bear with me again here, I'll just reposition. I take my measuring tape and I measure the, the greatest span, uh, the distance from this mark to this mark, and then that's where I mark my board to cut, and then I cut that angle into the board, so that my, my longest distance is what I measured, and then I cut that angle in. And uh, you can see how that thing, that how everything's lined up there here now. Uh, now what I gotta do is frame two windows uh, into this front section, because I'm gonna sleep right here, it's gonna be men. I'm gonna sleep right there, and then uh, I want all this light coming in here. So I'm gonna take and go probably, think because I, I can't physically run a 24 by 24 inch window like my other ones, which would be nice because they're cheap as fuck. But uh, bear with me again. If I, you see where 24 comes to, it doesn't give me enough room to properly brace things. Okay, this is just fucking miserable. But uh, 24 comes to here and I just can't fit the window. So I think I'm gonna go like 30 by 15, two of them. But uh, I'll let you know and keep you posted. Okay, so the first step in this here uh, window frame is I put 15 inch pieces to support uh, so this will be the bottom of the frame, eh? And then I put 15 inch pieces here and here. And then there's a distance of 30 inches in between on the inside. And then I'll run a board on top of this, on top of this, and cut a 45 in it right here, eh? So that's what I'm up to now. You can argue about the window size saying you'd be better off with uh, with a taller and maybe less wide window or uh, some of the sort, but uh, at the end of the day, it's gonna give good light and uh, proper circulation there. So, uh, and uh, the reason I'm not just running one big window is because uh, I don't wanna obstruct um, the, the ridge board support here, eh? So that's why it's like that, and it's gonna open this whole front right up. I'll be able to see real good, and it'll be deadly, so. 
Okay, looking good. Now I'm gonna add another 15 incher to the outside of this uh, 15 incher. Another one there. And then uh, I'll determine another, I'll not lay another board on top of this one. And then uh, determine cripple studs. We're almost done for the day in this damn roof, boy. Okay, so I got all those boards on there now and bolted up real tight. Uh, now I'm gonna run two cripple studs, probably somewhere in between here. Uh, <laughs> no particular order. I'll go two on either window and uh, call her deadly. And I'll use the same strategy as before to determine length. Well, here she be, boys. I got my cripple studs put in there, looking nice and mint. Got all that done, and then, uh, so yeah, that's it for that there window frame. <laughs> you should have seen it. I nearly took a dive off the edge there about four minutes ago. Anyway, yeah, so I can't help but think, like, there can't really be all that much weight on this uh, window frame being that the the support is right there and with two rafters on either side you see like can't help but think there can't be too much pushing down there but better safe than sorry and you know like all of these cuts i've made here except for the long diagonal or horizontal ones are just little pieces of scrap like they're 15 uh, nine inch, 18 inch kind of slices that are just scrap anyway, so might as well, eh? Now I'm not going to cut these windows out now, and the reason for that is, uh, I'm just gonna have to board them up anyway. I haven't even ordered my windows yet, they're probably gonna take three weeks or so to come in, uh, and I'm definitely gonna be sleeping in here before then. So if I cut them up now, I'm gonna have to board them up later so that the fucking birds and bears don't climb through anyway so well it's about time that sure dragged on but we finally got the roof on and complete and all framed and sheathed and everything so uh yeah i'm headed off here now that's my day's work uh going home pretty darn early just got the afternoon in no way because of the rain uh, I know it really seemed like this video dragged on it did and it's gonna be a long one sorry about that boys but uh, when you're working by yourself and lifting those big sheets and all that rafters and <laughs> up high there with a it's like an, I think it's like close to an 8 to 12 slope there <laughs> with no safety gear it's kind of time consuming eh? and it wears you out hey eh? so uh, anyway guys Thanks for watching the video and uh, following along in the series. Uh, if you'd like to check out the trap lines and inlines merchandise or join the crew on Facebook, uh, the links for that are always in the description. I'm off for home now, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next one. We'll either be shingling and that roof up or uh, laying down some plywood on the lower level.